Have you ever seen a drop of water climb stairs or navigate a maze? Yeah, it's possible, thanks to something called the Leidenfrost effect. It's one of the weird tricks water has up its sleeve. And it's the simple trick grandmothers use to tell if the griddle is ready to cook pancakes. If you've wondered how to tell if your pan is ready, sprinkle some water onto the skillet. We like to use iron. If it hangs out and boils away in place, it's not hot enough. If the droplets dance around, the skillet is so hot that the batter will sear nicely, allowing you to flip your pancake rather than get a goopy, sticky mess of a would-be meal. So the Leyden Frost effect happens when water hits a very hot surface. But let's take a step back. You all know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level. Temperature is really just a measure of how fast the atoms or molecules in something are moving. When water is a liquid, the molecules have enough energy to wander around somewhat freely, but not enough that they wander off altogether. But above the boiling point, the moving molecules have enough energy to break away from their compatriots and fly freely into the expansive, gaseous state. When you drop liquid water onto a hot surface, it quickly boils into steam. But heat that plate up even more, and the droplets skitter and slide across the plate without appearing to boil at all. What is going on? Congratulations, you've achieved Leidenfrost. No, you are not a druid. Well, probably not. When the droplet hits the plate, the underside touching the plate instantly boils. That creates a tiny layer of steam under the droplet. It actually insulates the rest of the droplet from the heat of the plate, keeping it from boiling. Water vapor conducts heat 30 times less well than liquid water because steam has fewer molecules per volume. The water vapor under the droplet works a little like a hovercraft. As the droplet slides around the plate without a hovercraft skirt, the vapor will leak away, but any new liquid contact of the droplet will flash vaporize so the cushion can persist overall. Given enough time, so long as the droplet stays on the plate, it will eventually boil away, but it takes far longer than a droplet that doesn't achieve latent frost. The exact temperature of the onset of laden frost can be complicated. It can vary depending on what the surface is like. Is it smooth or rough or what impurities are in the water? Different scientists have reported laden frost happening everywhere from about 150 degrees Celsius to over 500 degrees Celsius. While scooting around like Luke's land speeder is cool, it actually gets better. Back in 2006, some researchers realized you can control which way the droplets go. If you mill a metal surface into a series of ratchet-like ridges, the laden frost droplets will crawl across the plate in the direction of those ridges. The drops can even climb a gentle slope, scaling the ridges like they're tiny stairs. Some other scientists realized you could arrange a series of these milled blocks so water droplets can find their way through a maze. Science for the win! But is the Leyden Frost effect more than a party trick? Yes, yes it is. One way nuclear power plants and other industrial sites get rid of excess heat is by boiling water. If they let their heat exchangers get too hot, the Leyden Frost effect will make them less efficient, potentially causing enough heat to build up that it damages the equipment. Better controlling the Leyden Frost effect in nuclear reactors might also prevent cataclysmic explosions like what led to the disasters at Chernobyl and Fukushima. The Leyden Frost effect could even be used to generate electricity. Water isn't the only thing that experiences the effect. Liquid nitrogen does it. A block of dry ice will too, thanks to sublimation. Remember how you can get drops to go in one direction? If you make those ridges in a ring, you can get them to go in a circle. Place a column of dry ice on that surface and it slowly spins. Now add some magnets and copper wire and you've got yourself an electric generator. That's so cool, I might even call it Leyden Frosty. Let us know any other weird states of matter you'd like to learn about. We might just make a video out of them. Be sure to hit subscribe and thumbs up on the way out. And hey, thanks for watching.